Welcome to Wednesday night live chat here at Haunters Anonymous. As always, James is helming up the technology. <laughs> hey, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Ah, totally threw him off. Yeah. Um, hey, yeah. everybody. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, everybody that has said hello, except Danny, who put me in with the kid. I'm just kidding. Hey, Danny. <laughs> um, how's everybody doing tonight? Thank you so much for joining us once again. Like I said, hello, hello, hello across the board. Everyone has said hello. Um, Man, everybody's being active. I like it. Love it. Yeah, awesome. I'm, I'm sitting here like using my one good eye to try and keep up with the chat. <laughs> my I lost my one good eye. My one good eye. Hey, Alan. Um, Mark and 13 and Danny and Vic and James. Let's see if I can do this. There's another Ellen. There's Danny. There's Jabby. Help us all. There's Keith. And who else am I missing here? I think that's it so far. There's us. There's Honors Anonymous. Hey, Honors Anonymous. I better not scroll too much. I'll break something. <laughs> yeah, don't break anything. How's everybody doing tonight? Everybody doing cool? Hopefully everybody's doing all right. Yeah. Mike. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's uh it's Wednesday, man. It's Wednesday, it's hump day, and so forth and so on. It is obviously also aggravate MD Day. That's my neighbors though. <laughs> <laughs> hey Dan. Um This is our watering hole. This is our watering hole. Yay. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. And thank you for joining us. Um I gotta catch up on uh, the trios videos. I've been busting butt mowing grass and I can never make them live. I did. But uh <laughs> Yes, James did. There you go. I caught but, uh, I caught uh the uh the trio and haunted honeymooners the same night. One, oh, there you go. One right yeah. after the other, actually. I'm super slacking. <laughs> um but thank you guys for like all the uh the shout outs and stuff. That was super awesome, absolutely. you guys. It was uh wonderful. Yeah, thank you so much. Hey Dave. Um, and so we shall follow in kind anyone here that is not in the trio of chair group, please find it on Facebook and click the join button, smirch that join button. I have to, Oh, for Danny. Okay. Danny, here you go. Hoot and Gertie we're taken care of. There's your two words for the night. I've already, I've already said smirch. So <laughs> we should be good. I got, I got in trouble on the sidelines from Danny for not saying my words yeah you got to hit those key key words every every stream <laughs> every four hours <laughs> just not a stream um <clears throat> uh so basically the the short news is uh other haunted attractions are closing up cedar point and knots man knots, another big one not yeah not eat the treats thank you very much um yeah not uh, not so scary is not going to happen this year. So, uh, the, uh, the, uh, weight of Halloween continuously continues to fall, continuously continues to fall on the home haunt and all you guys and gals, um, you know, just realize the closer we get to the season and the more things, the big haunts that close, it's more air apparent that, uh, home haunts eating the treats and decorating your homes is is going to be the the orange and purple shining lights of uh, halloween this year so yep um speaking of um on the uh the website for anybody that's not you know may know someone or has a haunt or a yard that you haven't sent us yet we now have a form for you to fill out and it sends it to us with all your information. So it's easy. It keeps things neat and is a much better way to keep track of everything. Yeah, the, the website is a complete and utter aesthetic mess. But if you hit <laughs> if you hit the contact us uh, button, which is there um, and uh, it it's actually also um, it should work pretty good on uh, mobile devices, too. But like James said, there's a pretty extensive form. Um, I made sure to not make any of the fields required uh, in case there's something you just didn't want to answer. Um, but yeah, send it out, fill it out yourself. Um, so we can have a, a really good running tab. Even if you've already submitted yourself, if you want to go ahead and submit your home haunt via that form, um, folks like 13 skeletons, and all that stuff, people that we know, if you want to do that and it gives us uh, an actual digital trail. And this information is just for you guys right now. Cause it's like, once we get it like designed the way we want it, then we'll start sharing it like to other people and we'll give you guys a link that you can share with other people. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cause really this list is for everybody. This isn't like an RR thing, you know, this is, this is so everybody has access to it. Yeah. Uh, and it's an experiment. Uh, I think, I think James had a good idea. This was James idea to do it, uh, was to do it this way. Just let you fill it out, make it digital. Um, ask some specific questions uh, so that we have a a good hold on um, what's out there. So, like I said, the website's an aesthetic mess, but that's all right for right now. Do it, Danny. Yeah. You should totally uh, submit to the Lanai. You should make a Facebook page for the Lanai. Yeah, Mark, you better do something. Yeah, Mark. I mean, um, hey, Mark. Speaking of you, 
I got a weird question for you, buddy. And hey, how you doing? Um, your screened in pool. What is the screen made of? Is it a uh, plastic fiberglass? Is it a metal? Um, not to be telling everybody your business that you have a screened in pool because you're lavish that way in Florida. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I I saw the I saw the finally just kind of realized I saw the picture in the HHN drama page about your uh, HHN cup and being salty and such. And um, I won't air it out here, but I do want to ask you that question because I have a feeling you may or may not know. So if you touch it, go out there just whenever. Let me know uh, in our regular our chat. Uh, me and you and James. Um, let me know if it's metal or not. I know. I know the beams are aluminum. Screen, Screen. material. I have no. <laughs> God. God help uh, us. Do you not know what I'm talking about? <laughs> or do you not know what the material is? Um. Because one is funnier than the other. <laughs> 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 that's actually gonna make me laugh the rest of the night so nah, it's not chicken wire <laughs> it's, it's thinner than chicken wire yeah mark just when you get a chance go out to your pool go to so you're pretty sure it's a plastic like substance <laughs> okay a good way to tell if it, it, it if you're confident that's fine we'll take that as gold but um if you take and go to it and take your one of like your fingernail and take it and just rub it backwards, you know, and like don't snag your fingernail on it. Um, if it, you of all people will know the difference between plastic and metal uh, for what you do, but just take it, you know, like, like you're getting ready to strum a guitar or something and just kind of rake it across the, the unknown substance. You'll know if it's plastic. And I'll tell you why later, but I just want to go ahead and before I forget, because I'm getting old, I wanted to ask you to tell me what the material is. <laughs> But anyway, other than that, everybody's like, what the hell are we talking about? Um, it's made of the dreams that Mark crushed this year. Mark didn't crush nobody's dreams. Yeah, he did. 13s. He straight up crushed them, remember? Oh, the I paver stone. <laughs> I, I took that out of my mind because it crushed my dreams too. I didn't have a paver stone. Set it on fire. See if it melts. <laughs> yeah. He's telling that to Mark is probably like not a good idea. Because he has a lighter and he has the gumption to do it. <laughs> um, um, but that was, I mean, once again, HHN is still closed for anybody who thinks there's any chance in hell it'll be open. Um, it's absolute crap and brittle, so gonna say with confidence it's not metal. Okay. Oh, that's right. You're working. I forgot. No big deal, Mark. And like I said, I'll in private chat in the in our threesome chat there. I'll I'll um I'll tell you why. Uh, if it's and here's the weird thing is it still can be metal if it's brittle. Matter of fact, it's more than likely going to be metal if it's brittle. Yeah, th I'm sorry, thirteen. <laughs> James is the one that brought that up. I totally <laughs> forgot about it. I had to let it fly. I, I feel bad, but I had to I had to remind you. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh no more smoking mark all right good for you man i bet you nice. feel better yeah it's good for you buddy um if you stop drowning people at magic Ki magic kingdom that'd be great <laughs> um uh, so yeah that so everybody <laughs> everybody's like what the hell are we talking about with mark Paul? Don't worry about it. I just want to like, I'm far for, I would have really forgot. Um, hey, Primo, what's, what's up, up, man? Primo? Hey, buddy. Uh, can be metal as much as he pissed on the frogs. Well, <laughs> that's true. You're feeling significantly worse. That's all right. That's all the toxins coming out of your lungs. I'm not sure. Um, how we got into hookers can chew on <laughs> I, fiberglass. I don't even know how you know that information and honestly i'm not gonna ask so we'll just leave that to a, a google <laughs> search at midnight dear google i listen but i yeah, refuse so to believe he's going anywhere near hookers because they have way too much glitter so don't try to front <laughs> keith 
We're on to you, buddy. <laughs> they don't have teeth, but they have a lot of glitter. Well, maybe they glitter themselves through fiberglass. I, if it was a Friday night, I'd go into our our red light district here, but it, my mouth, we would go straight into a Friday night on Wednesday, so we probably shouldn't do that. Um, you know, James, even a, uh oh, oh, <laughs> like, um, do James, do you want to go ahead and announce the date for the flyer that we're going to put out, or do you want to wait until there's a flyer out? Yeah, no, we can announce it. Um, I'll let you announce it. Absolutely. You, you picked the date, and I think it's fantastic. Just because it's, uh, we want it on record, and there will be a flyer for it coming out very soon. It but uh, <laughs> go, go ahead and mark your calendars for Oct- October 2nd. It's the first Friday. Why do I hear myself? Where is that coming from? It can't be coming from me. Um, I mean, there's no way. Maybe. Maybe not. But I don't. I mean, my ears are encapsulated in like <laughs> steamy hot foam. All right. Anyway, back to October second. I I don't hear myself now, so maybe it's just it, whatever issue is gone. Um, but uh, yeah, October second, the Friday, first Friday of uh, October, is when we're gonna do our online Halloween party. Online Halloween party. Heard it here first, part, folks. Everybody's going to get together. Everybody can join in on the call. Um, it's going to be fun. Yep. Um, we will announce uh, the actual specifics on it. Um, but yeah, so uh, October 2nd. Um, it'll be a, a very special uh, after dark. You know what's weird? I can kind of hear myself too. Green. Like super faint. I wonder if it's uh, Google Meet. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> we will get the specifics out uh, super duper duper soon um, about what it'll entail. Um, um, so that way y'all can start getting ready for it. <laughs> hey Terry, yeah, you Terry walked into some strangeness, I'm sure, in that last little bit. Yeah, I don't even. I don't even know how we got there. It just. I know. Things <laughs> went south quickly. Yeah, it, but that's all right. We typically can reverse course. Um, the other big thing we're going to talk about, because we might as well go ahead and get into it, is um, <laughs> well, Danny, you do that. <laughs> um, um, uh, James and I, one of the things many moons ago that we were going to announce that we we've. Uh, wanted to do but really we're having sort of issues with figuring out some of the semantics of it uh is doing a uh, a patreon page um nothing highfalutin uh i'm actually going to let james talk about it mostly um because why not i like putting him on the spot because it's fun hey gabby um hey gabby um but um The Patreon, um, we couldn't figure out what uh, rewards, quote unquote, that people would like. So um, we came up with the idea to um, have y'all tell us if we did a Patreon, what special things at what special levels um, you would like to see. And I will pass the next part to James. I'll let him talk about it. (laughs) James like what the hell? Yeah, so we're talking super, super cheap. Um, it just a way if you guys want to help support this show, uh, because when things get back to normal, we're uh, yeah. Well, we figured out the the financial part of the Patreon. It's not quite thirty percent. Um, yeah, it's actually it's actually quite a bit lower. Yeah, and unfortunately, it's one of the better ones. So it still sucks that like there's no way to fully just support us without going through another vendor. Um, but yeah, that's actually our so the starting base, the, the cheapest one we're gonna do is three dollars. So 
Um, and, and that's because that takes it from a point where their fees are semi reasonable. Um, so it would be like $3, $5. And I think $10 was the highest. Uh, the thing we want to know is like, what would you feel good about? Like, what do you want out of something to be like, Hey, now the $3 one is obviously like, you just like, Hey, here's $3. We appreciate you being on and talking and doing all the crap you do. Uh, but it's right now. It's just kind of like we're, we're stuck. Um, we certainly don't want, this is, we're not asking for a handout. Everything, uh, that we get is going immediately back into haunters anonymous, whether it be something that we might need for the show, a piece of equipment. If something breaks, uh, the obviously it hosting, um, for our website is sucks. Uh, and next year when we start, uh, traveling for conventions, if they start again next year, we got to see, uh, that's going to help support those. Um, but yeah, basically it's just kind of seeing what you guys would feel okay with. What do you think would be a good value? Um, yeah, and when James says we're stuck, it's it's not like financially stuck. It's just like we we wanted to offer, we wanted to get into the Patreon thing and and offer something uh, of higher value than, uh, you know, kind of what we're doing here. Um, I mean, other than that, it, like I said, we're, we were stuck trying to figure out what kind of extra value added things that we could offer. We still have some stuff coming down the pike that we're going to do that nobody else is doing. Um, but like James said, it was, it's really, we, we would like if pandemic willing, um, we would like to start going to a few of the conventions, um, on behalf of Honors Anonymous, on behalf of all of y'all. Um, and, uh, basically, you know, offer things differently than what we do here. Just like sitting here yapping. If the consensus is, eh, what's the point, um, from all of y'all, then James and I'll be like, ah, what's the point? You know, it's really up to you. Um, Vic, we actually do do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, Vic, we we actually have a full online um, um, store. Uh, we shut it down not too long ago because we could not find a print-on-demand company that wasn't taking forever to get products out. Uh, and that seems to be industry wide. Uh, I've monitored some other folks that have, they do it other ways that really are more expensive um, for the people that are putting the shirts out. And James and I has, have always said that if we had merchandise, apparel, and all that stuff, that we wanted to do it as inexpensive for all of you and barely make any profit on it. Um, and doing it with those conditions some big players in the industry, some, some big print on demand. They literally, it was taking like a month to get a, a freaking shirt. Um, Vic says, put you a donut donate button on, on this page, PayPal. Um, Tara, we trans world would be one of the big ones we'd like to go to. Yeah. Which we've um, actually talked about. Um, yeah, it, it, it's a lot of, it's going to come down to the, uh, the, the pandemic situation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. If, if we're still in a bind next year, which hopefully we won't be, uh, of course, uh, who knows? And there's, there are a lot of these places that are even themselves. We'll see you in 2021 if we can, you know, so a lot of them are even, they're saying it, it may not happen. Um, but, uh, and Vic, uh, you know, putting out the ideas, if y'all have something else, um, like I said, we're not, we're not literally, we're not on a, on a street corner holding up signs. <laughs> um, but we are getting bigger, um, which is cool. Um, there are things we'd like to do. Um, it seems to be uh, a way of things. Um, Patreon, there's a lot of people that that's basically, uh, 
they have Patreons that support them and they do some fantastic stuff and they can concentrate a hundred percent on it. Uh, uh, and that's really, that's really it. Uh, so the idea tonight was instead of us trying to figure out things that we could give you for rewards, if you thought a Patreon was a good idea, we wanted to give y'all the, uh, exclusive, um, um, uh, idea of, of what 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 would you like to see what what would you actually spend a few dollars on a month and we literally mean a few dollars because we're not doing you know like whatever uh, and the only reason this get... even got brought up was because a few people have actually messaged us and been like how can we support you guys whatever um and we had the merchandise and we're going to continue to have the merchandise obviously uh it's just it, there's so many issues with shipping right now, and it's such a pain. It's such a pain. I have argued and yelled at, and oh my god, just nonstop with our with our printers, and we've gone through several. <laughs> um, yeah, um, Vic, I can't remember James. Wait a minute, Jabby had some patch idea, and I can't find it. Vic says uh, Teespring. There was a thing with Teespring that we didn't. It didn't meet our requirements, but now I can't remember what it was. It was, I think Teespring was expensive. Wasn't Teespring expensive? Teespring was more expensive than what we were using. And it, what we, the reason we were using the ones we were using was because they were really high quality. Um, and they were the cheapest we could get. Like, and, but um, the t-shirt quality, we have, we have t three t-shirts and two sweatshirts, um, that I personally got. And they were amazing. Quality of them is awesome. Now, now here's the deal too. If all of y'all say, we don't care how long it takes, just get the store back up there and, and let us look at the stuff. I can make two clicks of a button and have the store back up and running. Um, I mean, James did all of the, the cool work with figuring out where to go and blah, 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 and all that stuff. But uh, he did, you know, a lot of footwork on that. We just decided that if it's going to take, you know, forever to get shirts. And I don't know, last time we checked, maybe they've got more printers online or something, but we can totally put the, put the merchandise shop back up and running. Um, like James said, it was some high quality stuff. The uh, stickers were high quality. Uh, everything they were doing, high, it just was taking forever. And we thought, God, who wants to wait like until end of September to get a shirt <laughs> <laughs> or the end of August. Um, we can tell, I mean, James, we can totally look into that uh, and turn it back, turn it back on Vic. You know, we're, we're totally up to it. I mean, I, we may just take everything down, but the shirts, the basic shirts and the sweatshirt just to, for sake of ease. I don't know. This is why we're just kind of, uh, we're, we're sourcing the crowd as to what you guys would be cool with. Vic, we can totally, we can turn it back on for you. And like I said, that was, we had, we had very specific criteria, high quality, inexpensive to produce um, so that the shirts didn't end up being extremely expensive when we had to add a few dollars to it. Uh, and I mean, trust me, we, James, well, we, we spent like a month <laughs> going through. It was, it was crazy. Um, oh, 13. Thank you. Yeah. 13's got actually was Number Probably one, the first person, well, he yeah, was the first person outside of us, um, or James. Um, um yeah. but I pff, we can turn it right back on. I mean, it literally could be back up and running tomorrow, uh, or tonight, depending on how lazy I am <laughs> after the stream. But, um, we just it just was taking forever. Um, so, uh, hell, Mark's got the one and only Mr. Dolos uh, backpack. <laughs> yeah, which is pretty, um, it looks pretty freaking awesome, too. And so far, is. he said the quality has been amazing, so. Yeah. Um, I mean, hell, why not? We'll just turn it back on. James, you do your magic and see what their turnaround times are. And Yeah. Like I said, we just, who we, who we went with was basically literally for all of y'all. Um, we weren't looking to make. Yeah, twenty and thirty dollars, or fifteen dollars, or five. 
off a shirt, but we also didn't want them to start off um, so high that they were. It was just a put off. Teespring is good. I know a couple of people do Teespring and some other places, but we really did. Uh, um, we really did do a lot of even to the point of the way that we actually have the store on the website, it's free for us to do minus the hosting. Um, we wanted to have as much control over it as possible without having to pay a fee that we had to shift over to you, you all like a monthly fee. We, we did a lot of stuff to make our stuff, the criteria quite, quite, quite exacting i guess is is a way to say it um so uh that's why um like i said months ago we had talked about a patreon just like james said we had people asking us about it in private um but we we got basically stuck at well what do we offer what do we offer what would people want a lot of people do a patreon and they just tell you what they're going to give you um, and you know, it's cool. It works for them with us. It's just basically like, huh, what would y'all like? So, um, the tiers would be extremely inexpensive. Um, I, if, if, you know, we could do different avenues, um, we could just have like a, basically, a a, a donation thing. We can't use the Facebook star system because we're not a, a, a video gamer. Game. Yeah. <laughs> gamer things so i can't do that there's some folks that do that and do very well at it so well but also it's like they do it not very well <laughs> well i mean they get a lot of <laughs> they get a lot of smirch hits. oh god oh god one day anyway I'll, i'm gonna get smacked <laughs> but uh that was pretty much it um like i said uh, Haunters Anonymous is it. We want it to be self perpetuating and then some, and then everything that gets goes into it goes right into it. Um, we're not taking <laughs> very obviously not taking a salary from it, <laughs> but um, you know, that's other projects, <laughs> that's other projects down the road, yeah. Uh, where we completely enunciate the, the Halloween industry with things they've never seen before. But Hard Anonymous is it really is y'all. So I guess we can just leave it at that. Y'all figure out what you think would be cool. Um, if if we don't really hear much, I think we'll try out. It's not like once a Patreon's up, it's it's a done deal. Things can be shifted. Um, we'll check into the donate yeah. button. We'll we'll see. We'll, we'll we'll look into a Dante button. A Dante. A Dante button. Dante. A Dante button. No, I'm just playing with the keys. Um we'll figure out the best way to do that too. Once again, it's one of those things where we don't want to have to shift the cost of something that we're doing to ask for something to you. If that makes sense. Yeah. It's not um, like it's an issue for us. Like we, no, <laughs> the costs are very minimal. It's just, I know when we get to the larger items, it's going to be like, well, maybe we don't go because it's going to just cost, you know, out of pocket for us too much. And, uh, if we have, you know, if you guys are like, hey, you guys entertained us last month, here's $3. Whatever. <laughs> we enjoy the F-bomb 14 times out of MD's <laughs> mouth in 10 seconds. What is, let's see, a super chat button to donate. James, what's he mean? Uh, super um, chat, super chat's uh, YouTube. <laughs> oh, <laughs> get it done. I got two bucks waiting. Um, <laughs> and, you know, like I said, we'll we'll wind that part of it down because it's like I said, it's not a big deal it's just like uh we just know like james said that as we start getting into the other ideas that we're doing and the, and we really would like to pandemic willing um go to i've gone to a good chunk of the of the uh conventions and they're a lot of fun um and honors anonymous uh would fit right in with it um as we live stream and stuff like that but uh I'd buy that for a dollar. There you go, science. There you go. Um, how about a stuffed animal of Mr. Dolo? So I have a contact in China if you need. Mike, if we get a stuffed uh, animal, if we get a stuffed Mr. Dolos, <laughs> uh, I want five. <laughs> yeah. 
I want an oversized one so that I may sleep upon it. Uh, I think they're um, 12 Keith, or 14 or something. Yeah, Keith, we wouldn't be... I, I don't think at Transworld we'd be looking at a boot. Not Trans, like would, maybe HauntCon or... Uh... HauntCon or Midwest Haunters. Um, maybe a booth there where they're, they are definitely cheaper. Transworld, um, would basically, if we went, would basically be to go almost as uh, live stream reporter type. Hey, look, because I'm pretty sure that James and I's take on walking around a, a convention floor would be much different than somebody else's. <laughs> some of these other people that like twirl around and twirly McTwirlers, and you're like, I don't know, twirling. So I don't think we'd get a booth at Transworld. Midwest Haunters, probably. Haunt Con, probably. Um, some of the other ones, possibly. And it's not like we'd have to hit every damn convention either. So Unless you guys want to just throw like hundreds of dollars at us, then we'll go ahead and Yeah, if you just want to like make booth. it rain. <laughs> oh, let's make it rain. Um, I, y'all want to make it rain? We'll do a Transworld booth. It'll be the craziest-ass Transworld booth ever on the <laughs> And the history of trans world, I'll tell you that much. Um, but yeah, M- uh, MHC is actually very cool. Yeah. Um, Hong Kong's cool. Well, I say Hong Kong, really, it's going to the uh, Halloween and Party Expo. <laughs> it's become yeah. cooler than Hong Kong. Uh, the, the Halloween and Party Expo is super awesome. And I will definitely be hitting up uh, Spooky Empire. So yeah. Um, but we'll leave it at that. Cause it's like I said, it's not, it's not a big portion of what we just, uh, it was time to put it out there. Um, it was one of the things that we've been talking about literally for months and we just finally came to the conclusion that it just ask y'all ask y'all because y'all come up with the damn craziest and coolest ideas. And just like you have tonight and it's like, we'll make you work for it. (laughs) We'll make you work for it. You tell us what you want. And then we'll make it happen. Uh, and that's that's the deal with that. Um, so think about it. Uh, like I said, it's not uh, a life or death situation. Um, so it's not like we're going to give you like homework to be done by Friday. But y'all think about it. Once again, what would y'all like to see in general? Else, what else would you like to see? Not just for Patreon or a donate button or whatever, but um, there is a change shortage. Yeah, well, Keith said, can we throw a quarter? I said, there's a chain shortage. Hey, Keith, you throw quarters at me, and I'll bite through some uh, fiberglass for you. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, that'll go back for a 10-minute ten, ten joke from the 10 minutes ago. Um, haha, Marshall wanted your Dolo sticker. Do you need another one? Hey, I've got plenty. Yeah, Danny, we got Dan, – James got plenty. So that's one of those things there. Um, we're going to a, try and announce uh, – because we keep saying this and we are in the first first week of August. Um, we will try to announce another cool thing that we want to get started. Um, maybe Friday, maybe Sunday. Uh, I'm James. I'm determined. We're going to get that other thing out. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a couple of <laughs> like clown live streams. You can see strippers. <laughs> and they're all dudes, but yeah. <laughs> And for two dollars on Patreon, we will. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, strippers, vaping strippers. Um, so anyway, we'll leave it at that. Y'all figure it out. Um, we'll uh, we'll take uh, suggestions. This is far more entertaining uh, than I thought it would be. Honestly, <laughs> You're just, we're just gonna read y'all's chat. <laughs> We'll just read the chat out loud. Um, so yeah, we'll have a. I'm determined. We'll have another announcement announcement um, in the next couple of live chats. Uh, we're gonna make. We got to make that happen. That one thing. Um, we'll have a flyer out uh, for October the second. Uh, definitely, you can go ahead and just kind of word of mouth start putting that out there. Uh, I will make James. I will make an event page once we know the exact things of it. We'll still yeah, do a flyer, but I'll make yeah. event page too. Yeah, good idea. Because we need to we need to get RSVPs and such. Not that there's anything really yeah. involved in this, other than me gathering people at one place. But uh, I gotta now, find like enough music and such. And 
videos and whatever. Which is easy. Um, also, and there is an event page for this. I do want everybody to remember that not this Friday, but the following Friday, we will have Ashton Fox presenting uh, Crazy Trivia Night Number Two. Two point oh. Two point oh. Um, she has lined up apparently some awesome possum questions. So, um, study we, up we on. Going to, yeah, study up on uh, oh people God. under the stairs. <laughs> Uh, and Twister. There Twister. you go. We're going to give y'all a heads up. You at least have, know half the answers to that. But, um, and we'll be sure to push that event page up higher to, to remind everybody. Um, we we didn't expect to do another one for quite a few weeks. And then, like I said, Ashton, she just was like, I've got plenty of questions. We're like, well, now you get to do it. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, she'll be on here presenting the questions i guess we'll do it the same format as we did last time yeah <laughs> Danny said oh my god her questions are so hard how do you know how do you know <laughs> are you already have you already seen the questions and the answers danny because may have to block you <laughs> yeah what else is going on so this friday I'm, we're just gonna hang out i'm probably gonna do i'll do a uh a live stream of uh Costume quest. Super fun, right? It's just going to be conversation with some visual. So <laughs> it'll, be no, it'll be no different other than you won't be staring at a, a screen that does nothing. So everybody prepare your larger screens for <laughs> larger things. Um, I will go ahead and say, because James will find this out too. Um, I originally had an idea of putting together about five to seven different ideas to decorate my house and let y'all vote on it. And I've already come to the conclusion of what I'm doing. So the hell with all of you. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> sorry, guys. But you didn't know you were going to be part of a, a decorating <laughs> my house. Uh, but now you're not. So it, it doesn't matter. Um, hey, no, I'm <laughs> and, and it, Yeah. And it's just because I, I literally, I really just sort of locked in uh, the things I really wanted to do. Um, I think everybody will, will appreciate it. Uh, total side note, I did get my first of a few Wi-Fi cameras today. Um, so I'm prepping myself to live stream Halloween. Halloween. Uh, Halloween. I didn't, it's an awesome camera. I didn't realize it was going to be 15 pounds. I could beat the hell out of somebody with it, but. Yeah, it's, it's home defense and, uh, you yeah. know, that's, that's for sure. Um. Good God. Uh, uh oh, there's drinking going on. There's numbskull. Um, Zach said, I almost wanted certain things to be shut down to be at your house party idea. <laughs> well, you've got two months. Everything might be shut down in two months. <laughs> um, uh, that's the cool thing about decorating your house uh, and all that kind of bit. You, nobody can shut you down. If you do a big old display outside, nobody can tell you no, unless you catch it all on fire accidentally, and then maybe, maybe the maybe the fire department will tell you no. <laughs> but uh, that's why like I said we're getting together uh, the idea of the virtual Halloween and streaming Halloween live from whoever would like to participate. Um, um, that's why we're pushing the whole yeet the treat idea. Um. Yep, October second. <laughs> yeah. Um. Wow. I'm just sorry. I'm I'm sitting here just being silent, reading the chat. <laughs> Show up at MDs. Well, bring your mask. <laughs> Stay six feet away. Damn it. Yep. I'm gonna make a six foot long stick, and I'll just hold it right in front of me. I had to do that to somebody today. Six feet back, please. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> If we were outside though, so it's all good. Costume requires Friday. What do you mean? Daddy's drinking too much moonshine again. What do you mean? I think he means on, on are you talking about the October second party, Jabby? Because if you want to dress up, that's fine and be on video. I guess we could figure that out. Yeah, I strongly encourage you to dress up on that Friday, actually. 
we we need the we need the resident clown mafia leader to uh represent <laughs> yeah even if you just put your mask on um be sure you put some clothes on but uh <laughs> you know speaking of the of the skeleton i have seen a couple of videos of home depot's 12 foot tall skeleton and i'm like you know it's kind of impressive the eye technology i've been looking for separately um i'd like to get the eye technology of that thing separate what is it what's what do the eyes do they they follow you what is well, they're uh, they're not just LEDs. It's actually two like um, um, they're probably like two um, uh, OLE OLED screens, and probably powered by an Arduino. Um, but they blink, they move. Yeah, they're. Uh, I don't think they're interactive. I don't think. I think it's just more of a. Uh, they're designed to be more of a realistic eyeball. Um, they're pretty cool. Skeleton's way too expensive, but it, the skeleton, it is a 12 foot. It does look cool. Um, it's something that you'd want to like really batten down pretty well just so it doesn't get stolen and or fall down. But yeah, the uh, James, if you look at if you look, it's Home Depot. Uh, there's a video and it shows, yeah, they're cute. I've seen them before and I could swear to God I've seen them through Adafruit. Well, I mean, the Arduino can do a lot of stuff. Yeah. And I'm I'd be willing to bet you they've got probably like a more simplified you know non non customizable Arduino up in that up in that skull. Yeah. Um it's pretty cool though. You know, they blink and they move. It's just a realistic looking thing. Oh, Vic and Keith and Dave, if you guys are still in here, uh be, most I'm singling you guys out because I know this pertains to you. If you go to our, you know, when you, if you go to our website and go to our contact form, we did include prop builders in the list. So if you want to be listed, uh, go do that. And we will include you because we're encompassing everything that is home haunting and decorating. So you guys absolutely fit that, uh, bill. So. Yeah, I'm waiting for it, Keith. I'm waiting. <laughs> yeah, Keith. It doesn't have any glitter on it, so you should be able to touch it. <laughs> I'd like to see this. I, I don't think the brain pan opens up. I'd like to see. I'd like to see. I mean, I know you can't reach up 12 foot unless you knock it down on the floor, but um, I, I'm hoping that somebody buys it so that they can um, open up the, the, the skull. I want to see the electronics in that thing. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Um, so yeah, Vic, y'all here. So, you know, go, go to the contact page. Uh, I guess we could put a link to it or something. Um, but y'all totally fit the bill of the DIY folks. So DIY. Yeah. <laughs> you, said? you said DIY, I think. What the hell ever. I don't care. <laughs> Do yourself it. <laughs> I've had it. I've had an issue today, so my face not working really <laughs> well. But thank you for doing that. Cause who knows what the hell I could have been spelling out especially on a Friday night. Um, That's the friendly way of just saying the G F Y just G F Y. Daniel, are you really getting a buying one of those 13, I mean, 12 foot skull, 12 foot tall skeletons for Marshall. I think she's talking about uh, Jay's COVID zombie mask. Oh, the COVID that he made. mask. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought I saw him in here for a minute, but he, yeah, he may be out in the, the shed. Who knows? Yeah, I thought he. I thought he came in and said hello. Um. Yeah, pass pass that form around to everybody you know. Um, I'm. I mean, I and I'm fine with reengaging the store and letting y'all know. I mean, James, if you're fine with it, if people want to wait. Uh, I'm. I'm lost now. <laughs> no zombie mask. Yeah. Okay. That's that's what uh, I thought. It's, it's a lag. Uh huh. Um. Yeah, you know, a, a twelve foot tall skeleton. That's it's cool and all. 
I'm going to find, they actually say what the name of the eyes are. And when I looked it up, I couldn't find it. Um, hey, Jay. Um, <laughs> bringing nude parties back. I didn't know that was a thing to begin with. So <laughs> you learn something uh, every day. I think it's called a swingers party. Oh, this is Friday night yeah. conversation. <laughs> well, we've, yeah, we've gone through cooker ingesting fiberglass to nude parties. So we've, we've gone around the world. So Keith, you're going to buy it if it goes half price. Hey Jay, what's up, I, man? I saw somebody today say that, and I didn't confirm it cause I'm not getting one, but that the, uh, the skeletons are already sold out online. I'm wondering if they're going to replenish. Um, you know, they replenish their stock. They greatly underestimated the amount that people would want a 12 foot blinking eye skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't know if I said swingers party, Jay would pipe up. Um, what's up, Jay? Yeah, I could totally recreate uh, the. Uh... The, the digital aspect of the eyes and the, the mechanical did the, part. Did you look at the video? Uh, no, I haven't. I'm just going off of what you said. <clears throat> well, I'm almost I, like, I think I saw, I think I saw, um, Hey Shelly. Had a fruit. Hey Shelly. Um, we are doing fine. How are you doing? Thank you so much for asking. When did you miss nude parties, Tara? Probably like in the 1960s or seventies. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> Um, uh, there may be some around, but I personally wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pandemic them. <laughs> That's now becoming a verb. <laughs> yeah. I've got all uh, kinds of nifty um, little sensors for my Arduino. I've got, see, uh, that's what you, you, you need to start doing some stuff for Halloween with those things. And then oh, that's I, something I have been put up. We're going, we're working on it. All right. <laughs> man i've been mowing my yard trying to get ready it's killing me <laughs> anytime you're not at the j party <laughs> lord glad you're doing good shelly let's go ahead and like that um yeah dude i i know i'm i'm almost positive those and i'll just shut up about the eyes but i'm I, i'm sure i saw actually i'm sure i saw adafruit made a kit for those eyes i'm pretty sure it was out of fruit so that's probably what they shoved in there it's pretty cool the screens are probably about two or three inches square and i'm almost positive they were oled anyway um interesting if anybody here buys one of those skeletons, rip the rip the skull apart for me. <laughs> Please just just rip the head off of your two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars skeleton. Yeah, just rip it off for me and just take some pictures. We'll be good. That's what hot glue will fix it. That's probably what's holding it together. <laughs> More than likely. Well, it's not from yeah. spirit, so maybe. Oh, speaking of spirit, Keith, did I see something where you're gonna go to spirit pretty soon and touch all the pandemic things? Break all the stuff. Break all the stuff. Um, oh, also, Keith, I almost did a quick video. I went to my big lots a day or two ago, and and they had a lot more stuff out at my big lots. I, they probably were still stocking at yours, but there's more stuff. There's more stuff than your video was showing. So I'm sure you go back more than once, but um, it's still expensive as hell. But some of the stuff, when it goes to 50% off, I think if it's still there, I'll snag it. There was a few things I'm like, you know what? I'd pay, I'd pay the 1250 for it. I'm not going to pay 25 for it. But um... <laughs> See, I knew Keith would crack open a new pop. No, you don't have to break it. I just want a picture of the inside. <laughs> I want to know what the guts are. I'm sure you'd be able to put it back together and make it better. I may actually, now that I keep thinking about it, I may tonight just go and add a fruit and see if they still sell the cat. You can get the swamp rat, Keith. Well, you enjoy the lead poisoning from the pain on that. <laughs> I want to get, <laughs> I want to get some of those, uh, 
little skeleton gargoyles that I saw in Keith's video. Um, I think they might have been at home or something. Is that the name of the place? I think what it used to be called was Home Goods or something. They were they were awesome though. And what were they now? They were like little skeleton gargoyles. Oh, I haven't I, I haven't seen that video yet. Pretty awesome. Dag nabbit. Uh oh. <laughs> well, we've probably heard it all <laughs> on a Friday yeah, night. Probably... You're you're you'll fit right in. Yeah, you're fine. Friday nights, you know, if our notorious five to six hour Friday night chats moons ago. Um, we went around the universe, not even around the world. We went around the universe twice. Paper uh, towel zombie. That is interesting. Whoa. Well, wait, I'm also intrigued by Keith saying he's going to, I'm sending up $3 trees in one day. That, that sounds like a terrorist plot. Um, <laughs> terrorist plot. <laughs> Vic, did you do uh, videos yet? Have we missed it? Have you put it online yet? Because I'd like to see that. Uh, at home skeleton gargoyle, sixteen ninety five. Yeah, those are cool, dude. I like those. Do you have an at home where you're at, James? Um, not that I've ever seen, unfortunately. I know, I know we don't have one. I've seen some cool stuff at the at, the people doing the at home videos, like Keith, and I'm like, you know, some of that stuff I wouldn't mind getting for that price. Big Watch really has, um, they really have gone up on some of their stuff. Some of their stuff is just you're like, my God, it's gonna have to go half price. Oh, it's not up yet, Vic. All right, well, hurry the hell up, dude. Yeah, if you guys haven't jumped on uh, Keith's <laughs> Keith's YouTube videos when he goes into the stores and visits them, they're they're quality. Like I tried to watch a few different people doing their like store tours and everything, um, but uh, store tour. Did I say that? Yeah, okay, I said that right. In my head, that sounded weird. Oh, there's one in store Hanover. Tour? Yeah, store tour. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I tried to say Star Wars, really like messed up. But yeah, if you say it one more time, I probably will get tongue tw tongue tied just in general your mom said there's one in hanover okay <laughs> uh and of course um everybody go uh check out uh vic springston uh youtube yeah if you want to see his builds his builds are amazing we <laughs> we tried to watch one live once didn't go well for us that won't, that won't happen again <laughs> so, i just sitting here like oh are we live because i'm gonna watch this video y'all just take care of yourself um it's cool as hell uh uh keith um i think you will find more stuff at that big lots because there was there was a chunk more than at mine um shelly when will moto be live again anyone know um moto pretty much uh, he's got free reign uh you know if we we don't have anything going on uh i know that he's ultra busy right now um since we are on the first week of August, and I think, I think Creepy Hollow and Jay will is opening the end of September. I know there's a few people that can correct me on that in here, but um, we'll have him on again a couple times. Uh, at this point, it's kind of catering to um, almost 24 hour build <laughs> build uh, sessions at Creepy Hollow and Jay. Yep. So we'll let people know. We let people know on the event pages. Uh, in the events so and then typically if we if, if we know in advance we we also let people know on the live chat before the live chat that they're going to be on ha uh, numbskull mm -hmm. don't worry i will anonymous so oh. <laughs> um um and we are still you know looking for some other guests um you know one thing with getting closer to well <laughs> one thing getting closer to the haunt season people are getting busier uh and then unfortunately uh the haunts that are closing they probably just don't want to go on live chats. <laughs> they're probably like chat about what chat that i can't open chat that i can't make my money this year at my haunt <laughs> <laughs> um so it's it's kind of a catch-22 um 
Gabby was getting his meat ready for barbecue at work and hot. Mm, that that probably took you all thirty seconds. Um, we're not we're not going to ban you. Now. We, I'm telling you, if you so, yeah, I was going to say so far we've banned zero people in. Yeah, we don't. Well, how long has it been now? Six months. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we've been up, five. Yeah, months? it's been about five six months. We don't ban people. We we have some very simple rules, dumb skull. Um, and you really have to, you have to, you basically either have to get racist, sexist, or um, political, political, or religious, hardcore, religious, hardcore, homophobic. Um, you have to really be pushing the limits, uh, and just actively being an a hole for us to ban you. And nobody's <laughs> ever gotten to that point. <laughs> I've tried to ban Ellen many times accidentally. So, <laughs> yeah, this is true. Uh, and it's literally been accidental. I've now realized how not to touch my tablet. <laughs> yep. Uh, ja well, Jabby's made it this far. I think you're fine. <laughs> yeah, Vic, it's because y'all you are awesome. Uh, and ex I mean, everyone that's coming here is um, funny, and I honestly highly respectful of each other. Even when we're making fun of each other, uh, it always gets a laugh. Um, so, yeah, no, I agree. Uh, p folks that have gathered here every time are um, prolific, uh, very well-versed, very talented. Uh, we've said this many, many times. So it's, you really, really have to get – you have to really, 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 really try hard. I mean, you could say – now, if you said one line and it was literally, you know, super racist or super whatever the hell ever, then yeah, you're gone. But nobody like that. Nobody's like that here. <laughs> yep, I, I agree I with say, Keith. I would, what happened? Oh no, I was just saying I agreed with Keith that said the these clothes Hollands could make props and costumes sell to stay afloat. I said, yep. Oh uh, yeah, I true. Got to be creative. But no, you're you continue. Yep. <laughs> Y'all are so prolific. See, I miss all the comments. Um, uh, we're two sexy beasts. Um, I agree with you, Keith. Um, I do agree with you. Uh, I will say that logistically, um, you know, since they were gearing up to open a haunted attraction and not make props, uh, they may have to switch gears. It may take a few weeks. Um, they might be able to sell stuff that's in the haunt, which would be sad. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, uh, there's actually one gentleman I saw do that. I, won't, I literally won't name names, but um, for all kinds of obvious reasons. But um, it's kind of sad. I mean, we're all we're all about having anyone on. If anybody wanted, literally, if anybody wanted to come in, come in here, that had hell. If the owners of Not Scary Farms was like, we just want to come on your show and rant, we'll be like, C bring it. <laughs> just you know, keep it civil. We'll f bomb right next to you about how crazy things are. <laughs> so it's not like we wouldn't let anybody come on here. It's just, you know, hey, do you want to talk about the haunted attraction that <laughs> you can't open this year and you're losing your ass on? Hey, you want to talk about these uh, dumbasses doing drive through haunts? We could do that. <laughs> we totally could. Oh, wait, we've done oh that. We literally have an entire oh. evening of that. We've got a couple of evenings. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm sure that they're not, they're they're cool people, but I just it would turn into like we can do it. We know what we're doing, and the two of us would be like, yeah, okie doke, okie doke, then. And that would be the it'd have to be a Friday night because then I'd be like, okie f and okie then. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll yeah, uh, we'll totally rag on <laughs> anybody that needs to be ragged on. Or if we find a haunt that's literally just like, we're not doing anything, we're going to open, and if you want to lick all over our walls and blah, 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 we'll totally rag on them too. We'll call them. We've done that before. We've done that a few times. Um, we've written a 60-page manual on how you can actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or, yeah, let's, let's just throw out our 60-page contingency plan on how uh, we're going to deal with this. Yeah, and it's... <laughs> 60 pages of two words just said over and over again. Social distancing. Oh, I was thinking F you, but that's <laughs> <right>. <laughs>
<laughs> you want, it's Friday night here on Wednesday night, everybody. I'm kidding. You want to know how to safely open your uh, your haunt during a pandemic? Don't. <laughs> the end. Drive through horror nights. Oof. They yeah. There you go. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. How did you get your How did you get your car in the mummy ride? Could you imagine how through? many cars would be there? Oh my god. I remember just trying to get in the parking lot. If you got there too late, you're in, you're sitting in traffic for 45 minutes. Yeah, somebody just took out the Universal Studios ball in the lake. <laughs> um, yeah, Zach, we're we're we agree with you. Drive through haunts will definitely fail. We do want to make the disclaimer again. You know, we never want or wish upon any haunted attraction or whatever to fail. But when you are being so completely um, ridiculous with your ideas and we just say it, it's going to fail, it's going to fail. And it's not its not that we are uh, hexing, vexing, or voodooing anybody. It's just sad. It's silly. See you, Keith. Keith. Man, drive safely. Thank you so much, man. We'll see you on Friday. Appreciate Keep it. Keep building. Keep Halloween alive, man. Thank you. Um, Crack open a skull for me. So I see. Got that. Uh, so you know, and of course, when we when uh, we are constantly, unfortunately, now at this point, um, uh, listing haunted attractions that won't be opening this year. I mean, you should if you saw the banter between me and James about it. It's we're it's really a, a bummer. Yeah, um, it does suck. Yeah, we. It's not like oh, oh we found another one. Derp, derp, and it's like oh. I mean, it's, we it, it really, you know, it, it's a, it's a, a gut wrencher. Um, and we hate it. And sometimes um, there's so many that I, I, I can't even make a post about it. I just have to share it because it's like, I'd, yeah. I would be typing all day. Yeah. Uh, I think the I think the most that I sent you in like one morning back to back was like three or four or something like that. Yeah, uh, two days ago you sent me like five, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> You're like, I went to, <laughs> I went to lunch, and this is what I came back to. <laughs> I'm only laughing because I was thinking James is gonna think I'm just making shit up now. <laughs> um, not because they're closing, uh, but you know some of the bit, and we're still waiting for Hollow Scream. Uh, I'm pretty much sure we all know uh, it won't be opening. Um, dude, are you making pecan smoked sausage? Even you spelled it pecan. <laughs> That's fine. Pecan. That sounds good, dude. Pecan smoked sausage. You yeah, better bring that to the bot. Halloween party, man. Yeah. I, let me look at the smoke coming off of it or something. <laughs> I, I, I actually, you said I read that out loud and I could taste every bit of it in my mouth. And I'm like, my God. I could, that was some uh, stuffed baked potato or. or crinkle fries some coleslaw and some sweet tea i'm gonna kill you jabby <laughs> <laughs> i'm kidding that sounds good man i'm glad at 21 you're making some darn good stuff why are you tagging ashton <laughs> she's busy she's watching make, twister she's gotta make 500 more questions for a 10 hour long friday night And trust me, if if you're gonna have to be exacting with Ashton's questions, I think we were being a little lenient. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna work. that's it. They gotta fly. Yeah, you, with Ashton, man, you you better be sure you know exactly what the hell's going on, or we're not gonna put up with it. We're not. I'm not gonna put up with her. <laughs> Where did you go? You just trailed off there. Who me? Yeah, because I got a text message. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, why am I getting text messages? What's up, Maximus? Hey, Maximus. Um, oh, people. I'm sorry. People under the stairs right now. How are the questions going, by the way? Wait a minute. Is that, does Ashton come in? Yeah, she's in. Jabby, that sounds awesome, dude. I would. That would be great. All right, what have I done? I think I broke my chat. Yep. The last thing I see is pecan smoked sausage. <laughs> so, I don't play around. 
See if I can fix this. Uh, my chat stopped. I'm guessing there's more after pecan smoked sausage. Or I'm just staring at pecan smoked yeah, sausage. Yeah, no, there's there's quite a bit after pecan smoked sausage. Why did my why does it do that? Okay, let's see if I back out and come back in and break it all. It could be just the fact that I'd love to have some pecan smoked sausage at this point. <laughs> it's subliminal messaging. So I guess everybody's going to have to work extra diligently next Friday. Uh, there we go. Stupid Facebook. Oh, I almost blocked. God, dog, I almost blocked Ashton. <laughs> that would suck. Um, yeah, I think we nailed all the topics that we were going for. Yeah, um, um, like I said, the, the uh, Patreon thing, y'all give it a, a look and, and figure it out. Um, like I said, it was, it's not like, well, I almost blocked Ashton again. Let me put the tablet down. <laughs> okay, bye-bye tablet. I don't know where all um, our viewers keep going. I just keep blocking everybody. <laughs> Your mom's fine because she hasn't said anything in a few minutes, so I don't have a, <laughs> I don't have a, I don't have a clear shot. No, nope, there she is. <clears throat> See, I swear to God. <laughs> This is no joke. I should take a screenshot. Your mom made a comment, and without me touching it, the tablet tried to block her. <laughs> well, wait a minute. So basically what I'm hearing is that I'm not, I'm most definitely not playing the game serious this time. So basically what I'm hearing is... What? Man, there's either some missing periods or question marks or exclamation points or commas. But thank you, Jabby, for that. Thank you for let's just mention your pecan smoked sausage again and just be done with it. Um I'm just kidding. Uh I really I, I've, I've read that sentence like four times and I don't know what the hell he's saying. I just went to Danny's comment. <laughs> I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Uh I think he was trying to I think Jack's trying to make a sentence with no f bombs or his body parts in it, and it just kind of <laughs> his brain just wrong. locks up when he's trying to not cuss. Yeah. I'm trying to not be <laughs> porno the clown. Oh, oh, okay, that's all right. All right, now I get it. So he's talking about the game, the trivia, uh, for so basically what I'm hearing is that I'm most definitely not playing the game serious this time. Sure. I mean, you probably should, but. Well, the idea is to have fun. And if, if, you know, you're not playing serious as having fun, then I say go for it. And I'm, that sounds like I was being a twit, but I'm really not. And to be fair, the prize is something you already have anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> there's really no incentive for you. Ashton's threatening everybody. I can only imagine. I don't even want to see the. Normally, I don't even want to see that. I want to actually. I want to silently play the game as everybody else is, so that I can be like, "I don't know what the hell Ashton's talking about." <laughs> <laughs> How many cows were in the field during Twister? How the hell should I know? Don't forget the three that were on screen for point two seconds. Yeah. How many corns of ears of corn stalks did they take out going through? I don't know. He goes through frame by frame. Yeah, no kidding. What color was Bill Paxton's underwear? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just making up questions. I'm sorry. Um, it's all I the behind miss, the I scenes. Do miss, yeah, it's all. Yeah, I do miss. I miss. I like it. I would prefer. I haven't been to the thing that replaced Twister, but I always like going in and like you know, hi, I'm Bill Paxton. Cause I would do it right with him, scare the hell out of everybody that hadn't been before. And I'm like, what? Oh man, I missed that. I missed that whole video. Thirteen cows. I think the video is on YouTube. I think I've actually seen it on YouTube. See, thirteen cows. He's already given away answers. Everybody remember that damn answer. It's going to be a question. Two hundred five. Two hundred. I don't believe it's two hundred five corn stalks. There's way more than two hundred five corn stalks. They took out. 
like a good mile's worth <laughs> or two. You better add a couple zeros and then we're on some kind of number. What was the main material Dorothy was made out of? <laughs> what brand of soda did they cut up to make the, the sales for the, <laughs> yeah. the little diodes? No kidding. I know there was a Pepsi. What was, what was the cost per unit of the sensor devices released by Dorothy? <laughs> Damn me, <it>, Ashton. <laughs> All right, Ashton. Nobody's going to win this game. Uh, Wait, Ashton said, I did not make this up either. What? It was more than 205 foreign stocks. Could have been. The, well, it could have all been digital, to be fair. How many digital corn stocks? <laughs> no, I think those are pretty real. Well, well I mean, they, they may have had uh, like 205 <laughs> real corn stocks. We have inadvertently made a Wednesday night trivia solely for Ashton. <laughs> Pepsi and Mountain Dew. 8,000 altogether. <laughs> All right. We're off oh the rails. We're off the rails. We're super off the rails. We're so off the rail that nobody else, is, even Jabby's not commenting anymore. Oh, there he is. <laughs> My bad. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like James said, um, so... Uh, quite obviously, uh, Ashton's trivia is going to be absolutely awesome. Um, the walk in the woods or the tornado taking the truck? I, I You know, uh, oddly enough, I've seen that movie enough to know the exact scene she's talking about. <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen, I've seen Twister maybe five or six times. That's about it. Sorry, Ashton. Hey, <laughs> hey Bubba. What's up, Bubba? Yeah, we we three couches up for auction. Um three. Yes, heavily used. <laughs> well, Jabby, you make up an answer for that and we'll make it into a question and then we'll ask it. <laughs> we honestly all know the answer to that question. It is 100% zero. Negative 4, negative 1000. I want a picture of the damn pecan smoked sausage, damn it. I'm just going to keep saying that until I get a picture of the damn pecan. <laughs> now I want to just go, uh, I want to get some sausage. <laughs> Where the hell's the road, rabbit? <laughs> yep. We're just going to go ahead and say Twister line for line now. <laughs> this is yeah. this is where we've landed. And I'm just gonna do the uh, I'm just gonna do the ride quote. I'm just gonna every time I'm hi, I'm Bill Paxton. <laughs> anyway, this is where the show ends, people. I mean, you <laughs> you're welcome to go or stay. It's up to you. Yeah, I think the chat will continue working. But yeah, we're at what are we at? Yeah, we're at nine eighteen. Um yeah, they absolutely will, Ashton. They totally will. Ashton, I th I actually think they're going to have a, they if they enjoyed uh James's questions which were awesome and it sounds like you were just itching at the bit to uh to do yours. I think I think it's going to be extremely hilarious. I think it's going to be a blast. Um oh yeah, Bubba Bubba and Jabby need to get a room. <laughs> we put, we'll put Numbskull in them with them, but um it's Dozer. Okay. It, it's me, Dozer. Dozer. Well, um, thank you for coming in. Uh, we're getting ready to head out. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, it's, it's not this Friday. This Friday is just random game night. Uh, it's the following Friday that will be uh, Ashton's Trivia Night. Yes. So two, not this Friday, but next Friday, like James said. Um, what are the prizes this time? I don't know. That's James's department. I'm going to say the same as last time, but maybe we'll throw something extra in. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe uh, some pecan smoked sausage. <laughs> Depends on if we get the Patreon up. I I'm kidding again. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> 
But no, uh, um, we haven't really talked about it. But I know for 100% certain there will be a prize. Yes, as, and there will be. See you, man. Um, See you, Baba. Or, or Baba. Dozer, whatever the hell Baba. you go by. Everybody else, clown. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we'll go ahead and wind it up. Um, just because, like I said, we're just going super mega ultra random, uh, which is never a bad thing, but um, this would probably be a good night to to good with the night to kind of wrap it up. Think about the Patreon thing. Y'all let us know. Be sure to go on the website, go to contact us, fill in that information if you would. Send that to everybody that you know. Um, um, we will have some other things that we'll be announcing soon. Um, and as always, y'all are awesome. Thank you so much. Um, we will go ahead and wind it down so that Ashton can make 300 more questions before not this Friday, but next Friday. Um, but yeah, thank y'all so much. Uh, let us know um, ideas on other things too, and uh, I will pass it on to James. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, we appreciate you um, listening to us talk about absolutely nothing tonight and just <laughs> kind of doing some rambling. But it was fun. It was always It's always fun with you guys. You guys fun. are awesome. Uh, hey, Tyler. Uh, sorry, buddy. We're uh, actually ending it out right now, but yep. Um, hello, yeah. hello, and goodbye, Tyler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry, Th- man. Thanks for stopping um, by, at least. But yeah, yeah. thanks, guys. Uh, we will see you Friday. Don't forget, um, Friday is gonna be uh, a game night, and it'll be fun, relaxed. It's an after dark, so who the hell knows what, where it's gonna go? But um, it's always a little more cussing. Yeah. So. We'll see you guys on Friday, and uh, don't forget to eat the treats and be awesome. And that's it. Yep. Be excellent to each other, everybody. Uh, ciao. Have a great night. Stay safe. Take it Thanks easy, again. everyone. Bye.